file in which we'll start writing the HTML. Remember that I told you very first, uh, you know, at the very beginning that we'll be creating an HTML website ground up. Right? By ground up, I mean uh, we have nothing at all with us, and we'll be, you know, creating a website uh, by writing each and every piece of markup, HTML markup, on our own. Okay. Now let's get started with the very first tag you are familiar with that surrounds the whole uh, you know surrounds the complete HTML markup that you have in the website the HTML tag now when I click on the HTML tag you can clearly see that this section the HTML uh, tag and the closing HTML tag they get highlighted now this is something for which I recommended using notepad plus plus because when you have uh, the you know tag highlighting it makes it easier for you to identify the tags it makes it easier for you to uh, you know work properly by you know not deleting or not you know uh, tempting any part of the markup just because you could not understand which uh, tag was the closing tag for which tag right now we have html we have the head section Right. we closed the head section again you can see we have the highlighting being done by notepad plus plus we have the body section and the body section is closed okay now simply i would put i would put a title for my website now, I gave a title to my website and this is the only part that we'll be writing in the head section now let's start with the body section and what we need to do first is if you refer back to the uh, uh, to the paint uh, you know uh, image that we created what we plan to do at the very first step is let me okay what we plan to do at the very first step is create an outer body create an outer body for our uh, website now one thing that we won't be doing in this uh, video tutorial is in uh, in this uh, you know whole exercise when we are creating a website now one thing that we won't be doing is we won't be using table tags right we will not be using the table tags we will not be using trdds we will not be using you know uh, a typical table to design we won't be using a typical table to design uh, you know a row then another row with the two columns right we will go with dev tags which is which are the division tags right so we'll be creating proper devs for every section that we have we'll be going with the ul li tags for providing menu items right we'll be going with h1 tags you know h1 tag for heading we'll be going with the paragraph tag for putting in our content right and we'll be providing styles to all these tags we'll be providing styles we'll be providing styles to all these tags to the dev tag to the ul tag the heading tag to the paragraph tag we'll be providing inline styles fine we are not creating the CSS file for this video presentation so we'll be writing inline styles for all the tags that we use over here so now the first step that we need to take is we need to we need to create a, a, a border you know a, a, the main container for our website that will hold each and everything that will hold the header section that will hold the left section that will hold the right section okay okay now let's open the notepad plus plus file in which we are writing our HTML markup and let's create the outer container in which the whole website body will reside now we'll create 
the outer container as i told you each and everything that we'll do over here will be uh, inside the div these are division tags uh, to give you a brief idea about this if i have this as the outer container for my website i would divide this container into the header section the left section and the right section now when i say i'll divide this means in html i'll create a div section for this so div is for the division like we divided the uh, whole container into two sections the upper section and the lower section and then we divided the lower section into the left section and the right section right so let's create a div we'll give it an id as let's say outer outer body for our uh, website now if i close this dev and i simply write hello in my dev right we'll what we'll do is we'll keep writing uh, small small pieces of html markup and then we'll keep running the website in the browser so that you can actually see the output at every step that we perform now and the final output should obviously match the uh, the concept that we have over here in microsoft paint okay now we did this much we uh, we wrote uh, a text hello in uh, uh, let me just okay uh, a text hello in this dev tag we saved the file now let's go and open our index.html which we kept obviously in the website folder that we have now let's open this index.html in our browser over here and you can see the output that we got from the html that we wrote now this is definitely not the uh, output that we want we want it to be uh, divided into the header section then the left section and the right section but before we do that let us give some style to this division as this is the outer body as the div that we have just created it marks the outer body as you can see over here the section that is selected it marks the outer body of the uh, website so i would want this body to be uh, almost 1000 pixels over here we have written almost 1000 pixels wide and 768 pixels in height so i'll provide style to my dev and this is how you write styles for the html tags uh, that you have now this is known as inline uh, styling i'll be writing the styles into the tag itself uh, this is not the recommended way of working but as i told you in the very beginning that we will only be using html for writing uh, the uh, markup for this website we won't be introducing the css concept in this video i'll record another video in which i'll uh, i'll explain how to use css and how to put the all these styles in the css file separately right so over here we'll put inline styles now the style i want to give to my outer body div is width 1000 px and notice that i added a semicolon after the style that i gave so i wrote width so i wrote width colon 1000 px and a semicolon height say 7 68 px and a semicolon all right now we saved this file by uh, you know pressing control s and we'll refresh this file over here we refresh the file but we could not see any visible difference from the output that we had earlier now just to notice just for the timing just because we want to notice all the devs that we are creating what we will do is we will provide a background over here after the height uh, style that i have provided i would put a background color silver for my uh, for my outer body although we'll remove this color at a later stage this is just to mark the proper div 
the exactly similar to the one you are looking over here this is to mark the div so that you can actually see the size the width and the height of this div right you have a scroll over here because uh, you have a scroll on this side because we actually gave it uh, some height which is which definitely exceeds the resolution that i have on my monitor right now right but this silver color now actually tells you the dimensions you can actually see the div over here in the browser now what uh, you would have seen is say if you look at any website you look at the website for uh, you know uh, for mindlabs.com even if you look at this website what do you notice is that you have an empty section on the left hand side you have the empty section on the right hand side and the whole html body the whole html for my website the whole layout is in the center so you have the html in the center the whole uh, body in the center and there's empty section on the left hand side there's empty section on the right hand side but for our website that we are creating we have we don't have any section you know any area or any uh, margin on the left hand side but we definitely have an extra area uh, left blank on the right hand side which is you know definitely anything that is not silver is not you know counted in our dev so what we need to do is in the very next step we need to bring our outer dev in the center exactly similar to the way you are looking at uh, this website my mindpill labs website now there is a special technique for doing this now this is done by providing a style over here now in uh, you know just after this background color style ends i would put a margin for my uh, the for my outer div and for my margin i would put a zero auto and a semicolon obviously zero and auto now the motive behind writing this style was when i refresh my site i can see that the whole outer body shifted itself into the center of my browser i have empty area on the left hand side i have empty area on the right hand side and i have my website in the center now this is what we want because any website that you see it is actually in the center definitely it would look bad if you have a side which is uh, you know shifted towards the left hand side or which is shifted towards the right hand side okay now we at least got our outer section done right now the next uh, target is that we create a header section and once we are done with the header section we'll go with the left section and the right section at the bottom will definitely give different colors to okay let me first remove this hello text because this is the outer container right if i'll click on this div i have the end tag highlighted because we are obviously using notepad plus plus right this is the help that it provides us it also shows us a line over here which you know you might not be able to appreciate right now but you definitely once we write a few more lines of html uh, markup over here you will definitely appreciate the help it provides in identifying the uh, starting tags and the closing tags of all the sections now this dev is the outer body of our website now i want to have a division for the header i would name it as header 